All right, let's show you what happened in the playoffs. Brady blown out the Brawlers. Two picks apiece for Mark Brunel and his backup quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger. San Antonio outduels Brett Favre and the Ravagers. The Bulls, 28-23 winners. Got the LA Surge beating the New York Admirals, 30-21. Jeff Garcia, three picks in that one. Steve McNair, two picks and can't finish it, losing 20-19 to New Orleans, a second round, San Diego with the rookie quarterback. Had to have Sage Rosenfeld step in, but the fleet get the win over the Bulls. Brady goes down in Baltimore. Tommy Maddox and crew. Dallas, 28 to 10 winners. Taiwan Joseph not playing in that one, but they move on. Minnesota, 34-27 winners over the LA Surge. And let's start things off with highlights of the AFC Championship game. Tommy Maddox, the former XFL MVP, but it's all about the running game. The number one running team, San Diego, against the number two running team, Baltimore. It's Priest Holmes for the fleet. Tiki Barber for the Knights. And you know what? With the way things are with the running game, when you actually play, I don't think these two are going to combine for 50 yards. And I am going to be right because I already know what happens. All right, I let the game play itself for three hours the other night. Here's a third and six and a touchdown. This is what, late second quarter. San Diego Fleet, after both teams were just punting back and forth, finally got some points on the board, or excuse me, it's seven to three. Fourth and inches, less than a minute to go in the second quarter. Tiki Barber yet to gain a yard in this one, and he still can't, even on fourth and inches. There you go. 14 rushing yards between the two teams in the first half. It was 10 to 3 San Diego. Early stages of the fourth quarter. Tommy Maddox is picked off by Jerry Azuma. And of course, you get the video of the receiver yelling, chewing out the quarterback. Jeff Wilkins, the long field goal is short. The Knights stay within one score. This is less than two minutes to go in the game. Can the former XFL MVP lead the Baltimore Knights on a comeback? Here we are up near midfield. I don't understand these camera angles on the simulation. Third and 10, finds his receiver. No idea who that is. Here come the Knights. Maddox over the middle, gets him inside the 35 yard line. Third and two, 103 on the clock. And outside, finds his man down to the 20, less than 50 seconds to go. Maddox going to the end zone and it's caught! Touchdown, Knights face mask penalty, irrelevant. And we're going to tie this thing up with 45 seconds, assuming he gets the extra point. And why are we so far away? And then what is this walk? <laughs> what do we got all day, fellas? What the hell is going on there? <laughs> all right, San Diego is not going to settle for overtime. They're going to have the rookie quarterback come out here and deal. David Green, the rookie quarterback out of Georgia, coming in here. The lefty. Going over the middle, finds his man, and they're down at the 34-yard line. Call their second timeout with 26 seconds on the clock. The handoff to Priest Holmes. There's that number two running game in the league. They're going to let the clock run. It was stopped there. They have a timeout with four seconds to go. Jeff Wilkins, this incredible camera angle for the game-winning field goal is good. And then everyone just trots off the field, even though he just kicked the game-winning field goal to go to the frickin' Super Bowl. 13 to 10, Fleet get the win. Knights finish with negative four rushing yards. Tiki Barber, 16 carries, zero yards for the number one rushing team. Priest Holmes, 32 carries, 52 yards, ain't much better, but there you go. That's what happens when you actually play the game. NFC Championship. Got the Minnesota Wolfpack against the number three rush offense, the Dallas Force, and it's another rookie quarterback, Dallas. Matt Leinart out there. Could we have rookie versus rookie in the Super Bowl? They also have a generic coach, Bill Parcells, not in the game. There's Matt Leinart, and there's Kelly Washington. Taiwan Joseph not going in this game either, unfortunately there. Chad Pennington 
runs backwards, turns around, and then just heaves it up into the air, and it's picked off by Roy Williams. Look at this replay. Just an all-out sprint backwards, and <laughs> just turns around and slings it. What the hell kind of crap is that? Picked off again! Chad Pennington doing his Dave Show impersonation. With the Wolfpack looking good in their Vikings throwbacks inspired uniforms. That is a, I like that camera angle where you just zoom in on the football soaring through the air. Roy Williams, the catch on Roy Williams was the receiver from Texas and the safety from Oklahoma. And there it is again. Roy Williams with the catch does the river dance. And Minnesota up 7-6 to six here, late stages of the second quarter. Going to launch this one to the end zone. And it's caught inside the 5 by Roy Williams. Nice catch there. 17 seconds on the clock. And Pennington is picked off in the end zone. Where is the receiver? It just goes right to the linebacker. Three interceptions from Chad Pennington in the first half. We cut to past the halfway point of the third quarter. That kick is barely good, and Dallas goes up 9-7. to seven. But a minute 32 to go in the third. Minnesota retakes the lead with a field goal. It is 10-9, a couple of thrilling conference championship games, unless you like defense. Fred Taylor is going to break out. Zoom in a little tighter, guys. Touchdown, Force High stepping into the end zone. And we got ourselves a big-time score from the Florida, former Florida running back and the fans just vanished that was weird two-point conversion this time he gets absolutely blown up behind the line uh coming out of the two-minute warning the kick is up and good puts dallas up 18 to 10 so it's up to chad pennington who's already thrown oh my god there's his fourth pick intercepted andre johnson gives him the business looking like chris carter with that number 80 and it was actually Tyrone Poole's second pick of the game. This one, they ricochet and able to track it down. But with 34 seconds, Minnesota's got the ball back again. And this time he finds his receiver up towards the 41-yard line. 25 seconds on the clock. Over the middle of the tight end. Gets him to the Dallas 45. 18 seconds. Throws this one up. And Andre Johnson running behind the defense. Inside the 15, they spike the ball with seven seconds on the clock. Chad Pennington over the middle, falls incomplete. So you got one last chance. Four, three, two, one. And it's Andre Johnson. The 14-yard touchdown takes a bow. And they're a two-point conversion away from tying it. Last play of the game, a fumble. And it's no good. Dallas survives and are going to the Super Bowl. It's gonna be rookie quarterback versus rookie quarterback. Four Chad Pennington interceptions, the big difference. And this one, Liner doing just enough and Pennington doing a little too much, I guess you would say. Fred Taylor, 134 yards rushing on 28 carries. Finally, one of these rushing teams leads up to the bill and that brings up the Super Bowl. From Ford Field, just like Super Bowl 40 was, but this ain't the Seahawks and the Steelers. It's the San Diego Fleet and the Dallas Force. Two of the top three running teams in the league, and I can't say it enough. Two rookie quarterbacks in the Super Bowl. There's never been a rookie quarterback in the Super Bowl ever. And there you see Taiwan Joseph headbutting his rookie quarterback. TJ ready to go in this one. And off to Priest Holmes, a stiff arm, and he's off to the races. Touchdown, Fleet. Much better rushing effort already in this game for the Fleet offense. Matt Leinert's first possession. It's a fumble. Looked like an incomplete pass. They called it a fumble. Let's take a look. It looks like his arm's going forward. Hits off the back of his offensive lineman. Defense recovers third and inches. Picked off! David Green is picked off in the end zone. And Dallas survives that one. We cut ahead to the two-minute warning. Here's Matt Leinart with the ball. Finally, and it's picked off. Will Allen's going to take it the distance. High step and get in the end zone. Touchdown, Fleet. Puts him up 14-3 to here with a minute 51 to go in the half. Taiwan Joseph gives his quarterback the business. 
Two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Outside to Priest Holmes. San Diego on the board once again. And that does not look like the typical front row at the Super Bowl, if you ask me. Four and a half minutes to go. It's 24 to 6. And it's picked off. Second interception for Matt Leinert. Taiwan Joseph frustrated. Yells at his quarterback. The top two picks. It's 27 to 6. 218 to go in this one. Picked off! Picked off! Will Allen's gonna have his second pick six. And this one's turning into a blowout. 34 to 6. San Diego. But hang on to your hats and glasses for what happens next. Coming out of the two-minute warning. Matt Leiner finds Taiwan Joseph. And here come the Dallas Force inside the 30. It's so tough with this awful camera angle. But they're down inside the five. Trust me, you're going to want to see this. Taiwan Joseph with the six-yard touchdown. Just hands the ball to the ref. We got a long way to go, starting with onside kick number one. And it's recovered by the kicking team with a minute 18 to go. Can Dallas make this interesting? Finds his man outside. They're all right. Already into San Diego territory, buck 04. This one outside, caught, and uh, we're going to run this thing. 55 seconds over the middle, back body dropped almost. They're inside the 20, 44 seconds. Outside, caught! Touchdown force, Kelly Washington. And uh, some of these fans here looking a little optimistic. Onside kick number two, and they get it with 41 seconds on the clock. This play third and two, 31 seconds on the clock. Over the middle to Fred Taylor, and they're into San Diego territory. Call their second timeout, 25, 24. Going outside to Fred Taylor, and they're going to initially go no huddle, but you better call the timeout with 19 seconds. No more timeouts. Third down inches. Matt Leinart trying to become a legend. And caught! Touchdown! Force! And they're within one score. Fred Taylor running down the middle of the field in between three fleet. And Dallas is one. Can we get another onside kick? And a score. That would be incredible to see. But I don't know about this setup. What the hell is... We are not lined up for the onside kick. And he kicks it off! He kicks it off! What? They're done! A normal kickoff. All San Diego has to do is take a knee. And they're the Super Bowl champions! Oh, what the hell is this crap? San Diego wins the Super Bowl. The late, great Marty Schottenheimer gets his ring, but my goodness, Dallas, I guess, was like, you know, there's no way we're going to get a third onside kick, so let's just, we're done. Is that what happened? Oh, yeah, hang your heads in shame. What the hell happened? My God, that's what you get when you have a fake coach. Schottenheimer lifting him up on his shoulders. This is uh, fun stuff. We saw Herm Edwards doing this last year. And there are your world champions, our rival San Diego fleet. Dallas turns it over four total times in this one. Three interceptions from Matt Leinart. Threw the ball 43 times. David Green doing it just enough to get the dub and Priest Holmes 126 yards rushing on 27 at carries. Fred Taylor only 29 yards on 15 carries. Use it all up in the NFC title game. Big day for Kelly Washington. Nine catches for 145 yards. Super Bowl MVP ends up being Will Allen with the two pick six. And there you have it as we once again see the fleet celebrating. All right, guys. I'm gonna take a couple weeks off to get things situated. Got family visiting and then we'll get back at it here. So let me know your thoughts on this crazy game down in the comments below. I can't believe they 
essentially surrendered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next show.